Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ghost on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, which is a third party app store. So, it, it, uh, a little bit about this series and going over Home Labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, a ghost blog helps you with giving you a platform for newsletters, blogs, uh, your website, different things like that. It has your post over here, your pages, your tags, your members, offers, and then you can view the site up here. Um, you can customize the look and site design and it has quite a few themes and the newsletter system in, in, in it and um, the rich media and dynamic cards transform those clicks into contacts manage memberships and native analytics offers and promotions so it's a uh, it's a pretty cool platform and it helps you with uh, giving you a platform for your blog post. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description. So I'm going to go scroll down to how to install Ghost on Portainer right here. I'm gonna go to Docker Compose Ghost. So version three of Docker Compose is being used. Set some services and then the service underneath the service is called Ghost and DB. The image is coming off here, so Ghost, the official image, and that's coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And 5690 and the Alpine image. Um, so restart on failure means that if, uh, the, if this container fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if you stop it or anything like that, it will not try to restart. So environment variables are the database client, the database connection host, the da a database connection user, the database connection password, the database connection database. And this should align with down here, the MySQL user, MySQL database, MySQL password, and MySQL root password. And then um, the URL is right here and you do need to change this to your Portainer's IP address. And I'm gonna set some volumes. So ghost content, and this is a local uh, volume right here and var lib ghost content that's on the container side and ports so 2368 is on the host side if this does collide with another port you can change this port and then on the containers 2368 this does depend on the db and um the image is coming up off from the official mysql image and that's on docker hub it's 8.0, uh, the Docker ta a tag. And then restart on failure means that if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. But if it if you stop it or anything like that, then it will not try to restart. Volumes are my MySQL data. That's a local volume right down here. And then on the container side is var lib MySQL. And it's going to set some environment variables for MySQL user, MySQL database, MySQL password, and MySQL root password. These should align with these up here. So the ghost can connect to the DB and store the data in the DB. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file, and then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get it installed. So I'm going to start on port portainer's dashboard. I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. And then I'm gonna put in a stack name. So I'm gonna do ghost stack. And then now I'm gonna go down to this web editor right here. I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose that we copied. And um, I'm going to go, go ahead and deploy it. And then now it's deployed and it should be working. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go into the stack and I'm going to go to editor and then now I'm going to go to URL right here. So I'm going to put in my Portainer's IP address here and then um, that should be good. So I'm going to update the stack. Now, you could re uh, pull image off the registry and update the local cache with this and redeploy. But I'm going to update. Now it should be updated. So the environment variable should be changed. It is. So we got the URL changed. So I'm going to go over the stacks. So I'm going to go into go stack. So you can stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack. And uh, stack duplication, the editor, a lot like we just used before and update the stack. You can see the containers and if they're running and access control. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So you can go to end each one of these containers and you can see it's been running. You can see the logs. It's great for debugging. You can inspect stats, console, attach. You can also go up here to start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, and duplicate and edit. You can scroll down to container details, see the image, the port configuration on the host and on the container, the command, and then the entry point, the environment variables, and then the labels, the restart policy that you can change, um, the, the volumes, host and, and container, it created a bridge network. So that's a little bit about the container options. So now we're gonna go to the web UI. So you go, you'll put your portainer's IP address in your browser and then 2368 and then ghost. So I'm gonna go to it. And now you can put a site a title. So I'm gonna do big bear blog, admin, admin at example.com. And then put my password in and then create an account. It's working over here. You can see your your blog. You can customize the site and um, explore that uh, the admin panel. So you can see your po a post. You can filter out. You can create a new post. Just a testing post and testing. And then now you can preview it. There we go. You can publish it and now you have a post on there so you can always view your site like this and you can see your post you can go to explore and you can see the post right here the drafts the scheduled the published the pages you can see a page and then you can see the tags the members you can go down here and you can see what's new your profile, help center, resources and guides, and sign out. You can also go in the cog, and you can see all kinds of settings that you can change. So, that's a little bit about the UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Ghost running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.